base, um, sending out my units and quickly realizing that he's already at my doorstep, throwing down these two force fields. Probably should have, um, it would have been better if I actually moved these stalkers out of the way, but um, I didn't want to lose my sentry because it's it's more expensive. So I've decided decided to get more stalkers and have that sentry thrown out, uh, thrown out. Excuse me. <coughs> Throwing down, uh, s throwing down some force fields around here. Uh, try and block off this ramp. He does have three hydralisks and four roaches and more coming. Two more hydralisks and, and an overlord coming. Um, right about now, we're both curious as to how many units and and ha how just how much money we're, we're both on. Because um, income is everything in StarCraft. Uh, so if you don't know how to macro, mac microing your units isn't going to save you most cases so now I'm pushing back his two hydras as you can see they move substantially slower we're not on creep um, so they do they do they do walk like they're flying when they're on creep though so I'm really surprised why he hasn't thrown down for a diamond league play he hasn't started spawning creep with any of these uh, overlords I'm pretty sure he's he's able to as you can see on the uh, user interface here. Uh, it does have the second expansion up, transferring some drones over here and quickly getting two gas up. Um, gonna be, gonna be obviously overcompensating his lack of units with, um, with some better economy in a second. Um, as you can see at the moment he's slightly ahead in income, about 40, 40 minerals and uh, ahead of me, uh, but I'm still ahead in, in gases at the moment, so that that's just going to mean that I, I can uh, I can start making some more um, stalkers and immortals and even colossi. Now he does have this speed upgrade, and he's waypointed this particular overlord to scout my base out. Um, obviously, not knowing that I've already got what well, he does now, but um, quickly how quickly my forces are moving towards his base. Now I'm sitting right in front of his bases because I do not. Now, I, uh, I'll say that again, I do not want these roaches and hydralisks anywhere near my main base um, or my natural expansion. Seeing, quickly reacting to his overlord being in my base, I throw down two um, stalkers from my warp gates and quickly try and take it down. And this uh, overlord, I think, do eventually go down to my stalkers. There it goes. It has gone down. Um, I do have two models in my army. Now, immortals, as you, as you may or may not have... Um, noticed that they do die very quickly to mass hydras therefore um, I needed all these zealots and stalkers to distract these uh, hydralisk from from their rate of fire because uh, immortals are like the protoss early game tank um, they do pwn roaches rather quickly because roaches have a slower rate of fire and also um, they have heavy armor which is exactly what the uh, Immortals are uh, designed to counter. Now, as you can see, I'm pushing right at his base, losing one of my zealots very, very fast. Uh, one of my stalkers, excuse me, very fast to these um, two spine crawlers um, and to his queen as well. Now, he's um, none of us are panicking at this point in time, and because of my lack of forces at the moment, I do. I the reason why I haven't expanded at this point in time to my natural is because I did not want to get overwhelmed by his large forces and knowing that he's already on two bases I, I, I didn't really want to play around with these um, with the Zerg mass and have my forces overwhelmed and um, exposing my natural expansion and sub subsequently my main base to his attack because it's not exactly blocked off and my buildings died rather quickly to these hydralisks and um, he's going to be morphing one of his overlords into a, an, an overseer um, still not seeing any sign of creep spawning by his overlords now his hydralisks are um, being forced to obviously stay at his base so he can't afford to obviously push out at this point in time and quickly transitioning my um, my robo facility into a into a uh, robo bay and now I'm making colossi out of my robo facility and I have four warp gates up at the moment and I've pretty much got a little bit of a forward bay set up here with the network of 
four pylons um, so I'm able to actually spawn more um, units rather quickly from my warp gates now um, at this point in time I know that my forces my force uh, right here my little army here will get decimated if I did engage in this battle because of all these static defenses the queen and all these hydralisks and there's a chance that I might get a, a quick surround by these um, by these zerglings um, they, he doesn't actually have the uh, sp speedlings upgrade, as you can see, doesn't have the wings just yet. Sending out three uh, hydras to scout out what I have, and um, quickly realizing that we're pretty much at equal at this stage. Um, another mistake that I've made in this game is I did not get the uh, the the speed lot um, upgrade for my zealots, so they move rather slowly. And one of the reasons why you should against a hydralis uh, mass so you can get a quick surround on them it's the same theory with um with the speedlings on on quick surrounding your enemy's forces forcing them to um to basically either retreat or not being able to retreat so um it's a it's a mistake on my behalf as you can see i'm floating rather a large number of uh money at the moment and and because i'm running out on my mineral field i was forced to uh Disregard, disregard the fact that he has a massive force sitting right here and quickly expanding because I was forced to and I didn't want to run out of my run out of minerals on my main and not have any more supply lines going now I do have the thermal lands upgrade being completed right about now as we speak and my second colossus uh, coming up so I have two colossi a bunch of zealots and some stalkers um, I did not get any uh, unit upgrades uh, for myself because I I'll rather spend these uh, money on getting more units and plus the fact that I've scattered that he hasn't actually gone for any upgrades for his units therefore I did not see a need to uh, do this myself now uh, a mistake on my opponent's behalf is that he's got carapace upgrade for his units but um, he's also got an evolution chamber up but he has not researched any more um, upgrades for his hydralis which would have helped immensely now this calls for a GG as you can see um, some force fields being um, being thrown down and some shields being thrown down as well hence destroying um, his forces basically with my two uh, two colossi out the back there quickly pulling back one of them when they're in low health and the splash damage and my zealots just completely decimated his zealots and his hydralis and um, basically yeah that was a that was a a, a pretty good comeback in my in my opinion so I just thought I'll show you guys um, and obviously I've managed to keep my supply supply line open and I've never stopped making forces now as you can tell by my resources and uh, my opponent is flowing a rather large number of uh, minerals and obviously gases so he probably should have uh, built another hatchery either at his main or at his expansion to to, uh, to spam more um, hydras or zerglings or roaches or what have you even even a couple of mutilisks to try and quickly take down my colossi but he hasn't done that and um, and that's it that concludes my um, my first official 1v1 ranked um, shoutcast and I hope you guys have enjoyed this as much as I have um, making it so um, if you guys like it just rate comment subscribe and um, I'll see if I can get more of these uh, shoutcasts up for you guys in the future once the uh, beta reopens now thanks thanks a lot again for watching and um see you guys later